Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the replace and subfield function. So, I actually in previous video I showed you how to use the replace function. So, yeah, I think it's video 131. So, in this one I'm going to show you how to use subfield. So, I'm going to say uh, description. Actually, I'm just going to copy this. Add a comment because we're going to add one more. Paste. So we're going to say subfield description. Let's click OK for a second. You can see this is the original description field, and we're going to say use the subfield to say um, give us everything after uh, this part of the field, which is I think maybe seven underscores. So I'm going to press Control and E. Say comma. Two single quotes, and within the single quotes, I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and comment two. And the two says, Give us it, don't give us the first part, but give us the second part. So if I click OK, it's going to give us this part, not this part. So control and E, and say as um, D2, control and R to reload. So then if we create a new list box called D2, click OK. You can see that it's given us just uh, only the information needed after the where we requested the subfield. So then we've another problem because we now have single quotes in uh, the field for D2. So if we press Control and E, before subfield we can say um, replace. Like before, so replace subfield, say comma um, and the uh, the character number for a uh, single quote is chr char forty nine, and then you say comma two single quotes and close parentheses. So basically, we're going to replace the fields that are left. So we click OK. You now you can see uh, two zero one three comma or single quote ten single quote twelve. Press Control and R to reload. See now they've disappeared, um, and that's pretty much it. Press Control and E. So we've used subfield after this amount, after all the underscores, the second uh, part of that description, and then we've replaced any single quotes within that with uh, nothing, and then we've renamed that as D2. So that's pretty much it. That's uh, using click view subfield and replace. Uh, I hope that helps and I'll see you next video. Cheers.